Welcome to the FWAT Show on the Coil Entertainment Network, pointing out idiocy one story at a time. I'm Rob Steele, that's Jesus Jones in the background, and I mentioned last show that we have a gun problem here in the United States. Now, I know the show has never really been that long, so it doesn't take people long to listen to it. That's one of the charms of the show, I think. I'm not going to drag everything out, except this introduction. Two hours after the last show came out, some twit in a school in Parkland, Florida, decided to further make my point, and he flipped out and killed 17 people. I'm going to start with, you didn't have to prove my point. That that didn't need to happen. Weirdly, I feel responsible. I know he probably wasn't listening to my show. That's not the point. Donnie, our illustrious president, if you want to call him that, he says that the shooter was mentally disturbed. This just in from the newsroom. Water is wet. Yeah, really? Thanks, Donnie. Also, aren't you the ass clown that rescinded the laws against the mentally disturbed from purchasing a gun in the first place? Can't buy cigarettes, can't buy alcohol, can't buy condoms until you're 21 in some states. You can't vote, but you can't buy an AR-15 with unlimited ammo by now. What the f*** is wrong with us? What the hell is Donnie doing about it? Isn't he supposed to be doing something about it? The complaint is, Obama should have done something about it. Yeah, you f***heads wouldn't let him. Now you're in charge. What are you going to do about it? Well, Donnie said he was going to skip golf on Sunday. He's so distressed. F*** you, Don. Then he said it was a mental health problem. There should be mental health things to fix mental health problem people. So what is he doing with that? He's cutting the budget on mental health programs. Because that's going to work. So, how do we really fix this issue? Maybe some gun control legislation? Hmm, could be. How about getting rid of them altogether like the rest of the world? Yeah, you know what? That actually does work. Look around. When was the last time you saw a massive shooting massacre that wasn't in the United States? There's one in Sweden a few years ago, and that's because they hadn't gotten rid of the guns yet. They have now. Why won't it work here? Because there are people here who still say things like, Well, we should arm every teacher. That's the solution. Yeah, look, you f***ers won't buy them pencils, paper, and school supplies. What the hell makes you think you're going to be able to afford to buy them a gun and training to go with them? Don't go there. You're not going to pay for the training, are you? No, you're not. Now, for two years, when I was in middle school, I lived in South Carolina. I'm going to tie this together. Hang on a minute. And I found some of the people I went to school there with on Facebook. And one of them, who I'm not going to mention by name, one of them recently posted on Facebook that we don't need an assault rifle ban. We need Jesus. Well... Yeah, kind of. Um, first off, several of these mass shootings have been in Jesus's house. You know, that, that church thing, that's where some of these shootings have taken place. And do we need him? Yeah, sure. To actually show the f*** up and smack some of these bastards with a brick. Guess what? I don't see that happening anytime soon. Other stupidity I found on the net about this? How about... I don't see anyone protesting armed guards at banks. Does that mean money is more important than your kids? No. No, not at all. But have you ever actually heard of a a school robbery? Were Bonnie and Clyde holding up Westville High School? Did Billy the Kid hold up Miss Johnson's kindergarten class? No. They robbed banks. That's why there's guards at banks. Schools should not have a reason to have people get shot at. Do you, do you really still have questions? Do you think that's going to happen? Do you think that's what needs to be done? No, it isn't. Some people are just never going to get this. Like Congress or the Senate or the President, if we actually had one with some 
you know, genetic balls. I have some some suspicion that that Donnie does have enormous testicular fortitude, as I believe Mick Foley would say, but I think it's artificial. But this gun control legislation thing, it's it's not going to happen. Works everywhere else on the planet. We can't do it. We're too worried about the 30 cases of voter fraud in the past 20 years, so we have to make it harder to vote. Meanwhile, thousands of gun deaths a month. And they want to make it easier to buy guns. I I don't understand our government at all. I don't. Although if you're interested, there's a group called Empower, which is sponsoring the National School Walkout Day on March 14th. At 10 a.m., all students, teachers, administrators, parents, and whoever else wants to participate are encouraged to walk out of school, or, or presumably work, for 17 minutes. What kind of worries me about that is the massacre I'm expecting. Both a literal one when someone with a gun shows up, and a figurative one when law enforcement tries to make everyone go back inside. Now, there's another one with another group, and I don't know the name of it, that's going to happen on March 20th. And I love this idea much better, actually, where the premise is for all students to walk out of school and not go back until gun control legislation has been passed. Now, is that a brilliant idea? I think it is. And here's a way to make it work. And I'm stealing the idea from our tweet of the week, which would be some guy NWG83, because why put a name to this? The idea is, let's rename school as uterus. So maybe Republican lawmakers will want to do something about the children dying inside of them. I'm surprised there isn't actually a parrot in the White House right now that says, there's no Russian collusion, there's no Russian collusion, Brock! It sounds like there should be. Actually, I think there is. His name's Donnie. Anyway, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein announced this past Friday that 12 Russian nationals are going to be indicted, accused of breaking U.S. laws to interfere with the 2016 presidential election. Then it was amended to 13, then 15, then back to 14. Okay, look, some, some Russians. Now, Donnie says, see, I told you it wasn't me. Okay, Donnie, this means it was you. That's actually exactly what this means. Now, what I'm wondering is, if they prove that the Russians did meddle in this election, does that mean Donnie and everything he's done will be erased? And we'll have to have a new special election. I love that idea. I'm hoping, really, really hoping that if this means that Donnie gets kicked out, they take Pence with him. It's, I mean, that would be the safe thing to do. That would make sense. Of course, we can't have things that make sense in Washington these days. Uh, Incidentally, a new report came out about another nauseating Donald Trump affair, this time with... A Playboy Playmate of the Year, Karen McDougal. You know, just the concept of Donald Trump having sex at all makes, excuse me, makes me physically ill. Um, Yes, he was married to Melania at the time. Why the hell is she staying? My belief at this point is that she was made at Disneyland and she's actually just an animatronic. It's not like she shows emotion anyway. They can make things like that there. Incidentally, speaking of corruption, the FCC's big man, Ajit Pai, which sounds like a power-up you get in a video game, doesn't it? My character's running out of health. Oh, get an Ajit Pai. Anyway, not the point. Um, Yeah, he's being investigated by the FCC. They're investigating themselves because they think there's corruption going on with Ajit Pai and things like, oh, I don't know, that net neutrality law or how he's getting kickbacks from people who want mergers to happen. Hmm. Well, hopefully they can take care of that because we're not going to get rescued in 2020 by Oprah Winfrey. She says she's not running. Oh, well. 
Something I think that would be great as well is if Trump gets kicked out of office, that tax break for the rich that he's supposedly getting, that would be eliminated. So we can stop doing this whole Trump winning, which is not winning. It's 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 fucking losing is what it is. The tax break kicks in. The rich get richer. And does it create jobs? Well, not at Pepsi. Who got the tax break, which saved them billions of dollars. So they're celebrating by laying off somewhere in the neighborhood of 110,000 employees. How the f*** is that making jobs? I do not understand that. I'm never going to. But, but not all the news this week is bad. There is a story out of Brazil. That's going to sound like a bad story. Hang on a minute. Brazil has had an outbreak of yellow fever. That's not good. It kills people. Now, there is a vaccine for yellow fever. And who is getting it in Brazil? That would be the rich. And only uh, the rich. Poor people not getting it. So, a Brazilian drug trafficker, big drug gang leader, criminal type, known only as 2N kidnapped some nurses and a lot of vaccine from a vaccination center for the rich and took them to one of the poorest neighborhoods in Rio de Janeiro and forced them to vaccinate the poor for free, then returned to the nurses once they were done. He's being called Robin Hood now, or whatever the translation into, uh, I guess it's Spanish would be. And you know what? As much as I really despise people who push drugs, this was a good drug to push. He did it for free. He did it to save the neighborhood. Some people are saying he if he didn't do it, then he wouldn't have any customers anymore. Yeah, you know what? He didn't vaccinate just his customers. He got as many people as he could. That is some good news. And I'd like to see more of that. And now, news from the Olympics. A Russian curler, that's right, curler, not the kind for your hair, the one that throws the rock on the ice with the brooms. Because, yeah, that's a sport. A Russian curler was caught with performance-enhancing drugs in his system. Actually, it turns out he has a disease called echemia, which I'm mispronouncing. And he took a drug called meldonium, which I think I'm pronouncing correctly, to cure it, because that's what you do. Echemia, that's how it's spelled, don't look at me like that, is a restriction of the blood flow. Meldonium makes the blood flow better. That's what it does. Is it a performance-enhancing drug? Uh, no, actually, it isn't. Is it on the list? Um, uh, yeah, it is. Why? I have no idea. That, yeah, it's inexplicably on the list. Speaking of things that are inexplicable, I don't quite get this. A few years ago, at the Winter X Games... No, it's not the Olympics. I'll tie it back. Just be patient. A guy named Caleb Moore, in a bizarre stunt, basically ran himself over with his own snowmobile. Uh, It was a snowmobile stunt thing. He flipped it. It flipped wrong, and it kind of crushed him um, to death, which is horrible. Didn't see anything anything about that in mainstream news. Now, the reason I bring that up is because there was an article this week where a skier did a stunt, similar stunt, snowmobile not involved. And yeah, he broke his back. That's horrible. And I'm not saying I approve of what happened there, but it was all over the news. This guy broke his back. He can get up and walk. I'm expecting him to be in a lot of pain, but he's still alive. Caleb Moore isn't. Just because it's the Olympics, is that what it is? 
Now, I tried watching some of these games on NBC's streaming service, and I'll give them this. The streaming service has been working great. But, speaking of Caleb Moore, these announcers are are dead. Seriously, there's no life in them at all whatsoever. Now, I'm watching the freestyle skiing, which is a bunch of stunt stuff, which I think is fun to watch. Do I understand the judging? No. Do I know the names of all the moves? No. Is it pretty to watch? Yes, that's why I'm watching it. I get excited watching it because it's an exciting thing to watch. But the announcers who are supposed to be making this even bigger would make Ben Stein sound animated. He's going for a front side 1080 super grab, and he's done it. Now on to the... He's jumped again and moving his skis in a 1047-36. Grab the... St- Ooh, he's done it. Look, guys, can you at least sound like you're watching it? And while we're at it, the crowd? They're fairly dead as well. How about... I don't know. Cheering. Not jeering. Don't go, ooh, boo, he didn't do good. Cheer. At least for the guys from your own country. Do something here. Wake the f*** up and make it sound like a big deal. Because you keep making it into a big deal and yet not making it into a big deal. Speaking of winter sports, wanted to ask this. This is something that I, look, I may as well name the show. I don't get it. And this is back in the States. There were some fans who were removed from a Chicago Blackhawks ice hockey game this past week when they were playing the Washington Capitals. They were expelled because they were shouting things at a Capitals player named Devante smith Pelly, who is of African-American descent. Now, I'll give you this. That's not something you see in ice hockey very often is a black guy. But you know what? They're just as capable. They just don't. Anyway, what was the derogatory term that they were, you know, slinging at this African-American hockey player? Basketball. Basketball. That's right. They're chanting another sport at him. All of a sudden, it's a derogatory term. Have you ever heard that used as a derogatory term? I'm not sure I understand that. But, you know, if that's a that's the first time I've ever heard that used as a derogatory term. But apparently, you know, there's a first time for everything, except common sense gun legislation in the United States. If you have any comments, questions, or story ideas for the show, contact me through the website, thefwatshow.com. You can hit me up through email, rob at thefwatshow.com. There's buttons on the website for Facebook. There's buttons for Twitter. There's buttons for iTunes and the Google Play Store and Blueberry, so you can subscribe to the show. Check it out on YouTube as well, because there's a pretty lovely video that goes along with every show while you're at the website go ahead and click the button for the FWAT shop pick up a t-shirt or a hat or a coffee mug all of it goes to support the coil entertainment network and we thank you for your support and i'm going to leave you with this if for some reason you happen to be a hunter and you need 45 shots to kill whatever it is you're shooting at you are a piss poor shot buy a video game to practice with and don't forget to stop at the grocery store because your family's gonna need food because it took you 45 shots to hit the deer really really go buy some food otherwise your family's gonna starve for everyone else out there be safe and remember to duck <laughs>